In this video, I'm going to talk about how to extend Enforcer and basically take advantage of the, you know, the power that it gives you uh, creating a DSL. So, um, kind of just skip the documentation because there's not really much to it. Basically, what I'm going to tell you is you have the service, uh, which I install uh, by default when you when you run the uh, quick start for um, the enforcer plugin you get this installed which uh, implements two traits now the default way to um, you know extend this or you know change it to work however you want is to either you know change these methods uh, you can add you know I wouldn't suggest that you actually change the logic of enforce or the reinforce filter but you can add uh, your own custom uh, methods that you know these closures can call because these closures are delegated to this class. So you could add um, you know methods here that you could call for whatever purpose that you would want to enforce. Uh, you could also uh, add to any of the existing traits like the role trait. Um, and for example. Uh, I have commented out here, which uh, I've, I, I meant to come back to and do this, but I'm not doing it for this release, uh, the inclusion of groups, because uh, I'm not sure when that came in, but it came in in some part of, uh, or, or some particular release of Spring Security Core, is the ability to have groups of roles. But, uh, you know, basically you could come in here and change this and, you know, have this so that it checks based on groups as well. Um, which I don't really have, you know, set up right now, but, you know, you could extend this to do that. Um, you can also, you know, change the whole entire domain role and not use, you know, like a hierarchy or, you know, use a real bit mask or, you know, do whatever you want in terms of permissioning. You know, you have the power and flexibility to change this. Um, you also don't have to use these traits at all. You can come up with your own traits uh, that say enforces uh, like say feature flags or you know something of that nature. So this what the, this structure does like I said it gives you a DSL for enforcing whatever you know b whatever business rules you actually want to or need to enforce. Um, you know you can do things that check like say an LDAP or you know do a time-based query or something you know whatever you want essentially this you know is flexible enough to actually implement that so that's pretty much it and I'll talk to you in the next video